dispatch. Hello everyone, I'm Chris Ericlee and welcome to your Tuesday edition of the P.E. Crime Blotter. We have learned that an arrest warrant for Christopher Dorner shows that Riverside police officers shot by Dorner had just seconds notice before they were ambushed by Christopher Dorner. I'm joined now by Preston President John Asbury. John, what exactly are the details in that uh, arrest warrant? Well, uh, we received that arrest warrant after it was sealed uh, when charges were first filed against Dorner. Now, of course, after his uh, was pronounced dead. Uh, authorities have released these details and say that uh, the first shooting in a Corona occurred at about 1.24 a.m. About nine minutes later, a uh, bulletin was issued to Riverside Police that Dorner was on the way to Riverside. And according to the warrant, seconds later, uh, Riverside Police relayed with their own message that two officers were ambushed by Dorner at an intersection of Arlington and Magnolia. And uh, we had uh, spoken, or you in fact spoke, with the cab driver who assisted the officers at the scene. Well, we learned from the arrest warrant about another uh, individual who was at the scene and attempted to pursue Dorner. That's right, and there were two witnesses to this case, with the cab driver. And then also another witness who we have not been able to identify. Uh, he was actually parked uh, behind the Riverside police officer when Dorner pulled forward and unloaded what police said was 13 shots. Uh, after the shooting, the driver flipped a U-turn and tried to follow Dorner down Magnolia uh, to Central Avenue when Dorner turned uh, left and lo the witness lost sight of him. And uh, another element that was uh, not confirmed at the time, but we have learned now that from the arrest warrant that the bullets uh, recovered at the scene of, of both the Corona and Riverside shooting uh, were of the same caliber. Sure, and they're .223 uh, ammunition in their rifle rounds, and uh, the witnesses reported Dorner was wearing camouflage and had a camouflage stock rifle with a black barrel uh, when he pointed out the window and uh, fired s multiple rounds of the semi-automatic weapon into the police car. All right, John, thanks for joining us. That does it for our Tuesday edition of the P.E. Crime Blotter. Be sure to stay tuned right here on P.E.com for the latest on this story.